It's the new moon in Sagittarius. Hey there, Twin Flame lover. It's me again, Dr. Amanda Noel, the Twin Flame matchmaker, and I am back with a new moon astrology report and Twin Flame reading for all of you Twin Flame lovers out there. And this fire moon brings us Twin Flames or singles a lot of excitement and creative potential. There, in fact, is a ton of fire, perhaps a bit too much, which is why we have to remember to stay in balance with the feminine water element, including doing healing prayers with water, bathing rituals, and drinking a lot of water. Let's now send some love to California, to the fires that are going on there. Just envision some water dropping down, clearing out that fire. So this new moon in Sagittarius, which is 26 degrees of Sagittarius, has a lot of fire. The sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, and Saturn are all in the fire sign, which is perfect because it's the end of the year when the sun is going down and the rebirth of the sun for 2018. The vibration of Sagittarius is one of hope, of action, of honesty, adventure, and of commitment to our values. Now, this is a time of claiming your freedom, of becoming a love leader under your own thought and paradigm. This is the perfect time to create a new paradigm-based relationship, not by following the Disney fairy tale or doing what others are doing, but by birthing it from your own consciousness or your womb wisdom or men from your sacral. Now I teach twin flame women, single women who want to create their own twin flame union by creating it from their own bliss through the steps of twin flame alchemy. Now we are all alchemists and this new moon in Sagittarius is the perfect time to dive into your wizard or magician energy from your own passion. This is also a fire time of reflection, sitting by the fire, really meditating on what you want to create. The energy of Sagittarius brings up a good point. It's time to face the fear, time to leap beyond the bounds of what is known. That's what this sign is about, going beyond the edge, beyond the comfort zone, going beyond from the known into the unknown. What can you let go of? What can you surrender? How can you fall into grace as you stand up and rise as a love leader? Many women get trapped by twin flame obsession, where they cannot let go and surrender to knowing who their twin flame is. They think this has to be the one for them or else their life is ruined. They get attached to a 3D twin flame love story. And that's not what twin flame love is. It's all about surrendering and letting the universe show us what love is. The rest is full of surprises and magic letting go to the attachment of outcome and instead focus not on forcing, but focus on loving yourself and tapping into your divine connection. The perfect experiment for twin flame women right now, especially single women, would be to test your edge, perhaps in dating, go out with someone different, try dating someone you would never even consider dating. Like maybe you normally date really rich guys or poor guys and just you know, try something different. Maybe you've never dated a woman and you want to try that out. This new moon in Sagittarius is all about claiming the wild woman in you, just becoming your own trailblazer twin flame. The fire element will help you rapidly burn through fear. Any fear that arises, make sure to expect it and then let it go. Now, even via Venus, the goddess of love, she is a flirtatious, romantic energy. She's also in the fire. So this is a great time for manifesting your twin flame. It takes action, no waiting, no just expecting the universe to reward you for being lazy. You will have good fortune by taking action. Now, the planet does need you. You need to be of service as a twin flame partnership, it requires playing big and not small. So despite the fact that we're in a Mercury retrograde, this is a great time to triumph through any old fears and take proper action. Things might move slowly in the retrograde compared to normally, but this is great. This is a great time for reflecting on our actions, moving a little bit slower. I tend to move really fast and talk really fast. So this Mercury retrograde is a really powerful time to divinely tap in to the moment. <laughs> it's perfect. So we cannot do that without forgiving others and letting go of our past. Letting go of any wrong actions doesn't mean condoning their behavior. Oh wait, one thing, by the way, I just wanna update you. Uh, if you are interested in receiving these Twin Flame Astrology reports, make sure to subscribe. And if you want Twin Flame 
tips, subscribe and give me a little thumbs up. Okay, so I was saying, this would be a great time to do letting go ceremonies using fire. Do a burning ritual, write it down and release it. Let go of what no longer serves and do it with gratitude. Be grateful for the lessons of your ex, whatever you have both learned. This is great. This is the perfect time to also let go of any unrequited loves. If you've had crushes, I know I had a crush on someone for five years. I thought it was my twin flame. It was not a clean commitment. If it's not clean, let it go. That's what the energy of the new moon in Sagittarius is. Saturn is also making its way into Capricorn out of Sagittarius. This is a great reason to be in forgiveness, unconditional love, even towards Illuminati or dark force energy or slavery systems or black magic. Anybody who's been throwing you mean evil energy with forgiveness comes true illumination. So by forgiving others who have enslaved us, held us back, hurt us, harmed us, they are the key to freeing ourselves. So thank them. We can return to our wholeness by understanding that the darkness was just a part of ourselves, our shadow that felt it was not good enough to receive what we wanted as high heel priestesses. Also expect to see synchronicities at this time. For instance, we bought our plane ticket. 1111 is a love number. Guess what? Our Delta flight 1111 on the new moon. By the way, we normally do the new moon ceremony at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We pushed it to 9 a.m. Pacific so we could be on our flight, which we had to move. So we're going to be doing this new moon rock a cow ceremony. And this is the time to plant new seeds for the next cycle ahead and the next year ahead. It's happening on December 18th, three days before the 21st, which is the shortest day of the year on the longest night of the year, the winter solstice. This is a perfect time for reflection and creating a sacred ceremony, which is why we're offering a complimentary 75 minute ceremony on the solstice, the 21st, right after our new moon ceremony. So sign up for both, click the links below in the description box and you'll get sent the details right away to attend. You'll be getting a brief talk on the deeper meaning of the winter solstice regarding twin flame energy. You'll get an energy transmission from the twin flames Isis and Osiris, Mary Magdalene and Yeshua. We'll tap into four ancient sacred sites of the earth to harness more twin flame energy for the solstice. You'll get a gentle guided solstice meditation to ease into the stillness and to awaken your intentions for manifestation in 2018. We'll also do a little channeled, channeling yumminess for you to awaken your soul mission for 2018 and deepen you into your intimate twin flame union. And you'll be getting some free cool stuff as always, some special announcements. Oh, and right now I wanted to announce we're doing something really special next February on the 19th to 11th, right before Valentine's Day in my hometown, Austin, Texas. Guess what's happening? We are leading Twin Flames Live a three-day sacred twin flame alchemy retreat among a highly curated group of power priestesses like yourself, female entrepreneurs, love leaders, healers, light workers, and you'll be getting the proper guidance, support, and twin inspiration it takes to call in your sacred union in a tribe of high-heeled priestess sea stars. Retreat guests will benefit from a series of Shakti awakening exercises, informative lectures, and transformative experiences that involve twin flame alchemy. And that will melt the old heavy energy blocks blocking twin flame love. This incredible sacred and sensual experiment integrates all of your senses and will teach you how to use your divine feminine bliss as a honing device to manifest your beloved. This magical three-day journey will take you deep. It expect it to be playful and at times outrageous as that's my style. It'll be a blissful blast. Now I would love you to join us for a limited time only. We have a special discounted rate with a ticket available. If you feel called for this once in a lifetime opportunity, then you can get started by clicking the link below in the description box for more information. We'll then send you details on Twin Flames Live, the special discounts, plus a super special bonus Twin Flame training just for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. Let's finish off 2017 with a Twin Flame Big Bang. I look forward to having you at the New Moon Ceremony, at the Winter Solstice Ceremony, and blessings, Twin Flame love. I also hope to see you at Twin Flames Live. Click the links below. I'll see you soon. Namaste. Namasco.